program the dialer for the PFC 6006, enter the main menu by selecting Enter. In the main menu, you want to select option 6, which is Programming. In Programming, you want to select option 1, System Setup. And in System Setup, you select option 2, DAC Setup. In DAC Setup, you have the options of setting up line 1 and line 2, and then you have the options for setting up accounts 1 through 5. We're going to start with setting up line 1 by selecting option number 1. In line setup, your first option is either to enable or disable the line. If you're going to use this connection to communicate to a central station, you will want to enable this phone line, so select option 1 and make sure it is enabled. Currently, line 1 is disabled. Your options are 1, enable, and 2, disable, so we'll select option 1 to enable. Your next option in line 1 setup is line monitor. This will monitor the line for voltage. Go into line monitor and line monitor is currently on. Your options are either on or off by selecting 1 or 2. We're going to leave that on, so I'm going to select enter. The next option in line 1 setup is number of rings and this is going to set the number of rings for the dialer to answer a call if you're going to access it remotely. How many rings before the dialer picks up? So you enter the number of rings, so we'll enter 2 and then select enter to change it. The next option under number of rings is answering a machine and this has to do with answering a machine bypass. The default is off. If you'd like answering machine bypass to be on, you'll select the option number one to be on. The next option is for entering a line prefix. This has to do with using a phone system where you would need to dial 9 or something else to get out of that system. So select option 5 and here you can enter 9 and you can use the up and down arrows to move through characters you may need to get through that phone system. The last option in line 1 setup is dial tone detect and this is going to enable or disable the detection of dial tone for the line 1. So if you go into option 6, it is currently detecting for dial tone. So when the dialer is active, it seizes the phone line, it's going to look for dial tone. If there is no dial tone, it's going to think the line is bad. You can disable that by going and turning it off, option 2. I'm going to escape out of that. And that is the last thing for setting up of line 1. So we can escape out of that and that'll save those settings and line 1 is set up. Your next option in the dialer setup is line 2 and those options are identical to what we just talked about in line 1. So you would go into line 2 and you would be able to do enable, disable, you could do line monitor, yes or no, number of rings before that line would answer, answer machine bypass on or off, line prefix if needed, as well as dial tone detect on or off. Setting up of line 2. Once you've got line 1 and line 2 set up, you can go to your first account setup, account number 1 set up by selecting number 3. And in account 1 setup, the first thing that you can select is the report reporting event types. And this is going to determine what events you're going to report to Central Station. Your options are going to be alarm, supervisory, and trouble. So I'll select option 1. Currently we, re we are reporting alarm, supervisory, and trouble because it says account 1, alarm, supervisory, and trouble. I can change this by selecting enter and the first option I get is alarm events. Do I want those on or off? If I want them off, I can select number 2 for off. Currently they're on, so we're going to leave them that way. It then brings me to supervisory events. Again, I can have those on or off by selecting the option. Again, I'm going to keep those on. And then trouble events is my last option. And again, I can either have those on or off. Again, I'm going to keep those on. It'll then show you that you're reporting those event types and it'll go back out to your account one setup. So that's your first option. The next thing in account setup is your primary account ID. This is the account number given to you by Central Station. So you'll select option 2 and you'll enter in the account number that is given to you by Central Station as your primary account number. Once you've entered that number, you can hit enter and that has been added to your 
account set up. The next option is your primary phone number and this is the phone number that Central Station gives you in order for the dialer in the fire panel to dial to Central Station. So then you can go ahead and enter that phone number and select enter and the phone number has been added. Your next option in account one setup is reporting format. So I go into number four and my options are SIA or contact ID. I'm going to select contact ID and those changes are accepted and then I'm back out to the menu. After selecting the format, my next option is whether or not to send test signals to the uh, re primary receiver. I go in number five that is currently off. I can select number one to turn that on. I then move to my secondary account ID or number. So we've already set up the primary receiver for account one. Now we're going to set up the backup account settings. So if they've given you a different account number, you can go ahead and enter that in secondary account ID. If they've given you a different phone number, which they probably have, you can go into secondary phone number and enter in that phone number for that backup receiver. Once you've got the phone number set up, you can go to reporting format number eight and select which reporting format you're going to send, whether that's SIA or contact ID. And then your last option is whether or not you're going to send test events to the secondary receiver. And you can go into that and turn that on or off. Once you're done with that, you can escape and your account one is set up. If you would like the information to go to a secondary account, so you're going to send the information to two locations, you would go down to account two and walk through the steps exactly like we just walked through account one. You have up to five different dialer accounts that you can send to. Once you're done with your setup, you'll hit escape, which brings you back to the system setup menu. You'll hit escape again, which brings you back to the programming menu. Escape one more time. It's going to ask you to accept your changes. You say one to accept enter and the system will restart and your dialer will be programmed.